Hi everyone. I am anonymous traveler from intellectual exercise. Today we will discuss one of the neurotransmitters, acetylcholine. Also, I will talk about the most effective way to increase it. Since majority of general public do not have optimal level of acetylcholine, this lecture can be useful. Acetylcholine is especially important because it is directly connected to mental alertness and cognitive functions. Acetylcholine also plays an important role in decreasing inflammation. There are many pathways and mechanisms to reduce inflammation. And acetylcholine-based pathway of anti-inflammatory effect is called the cholinergic anti-inflammatory pathway. This pathway stops localized inflammatory response from spreading beyond the location of injury. For example, when we get injury in our specific part of the body, the area of injury gets inflammation. But without this cholinergic anti-inflammatory pathway, the inflammatory response can be spreading to kidney, liver, and the other organs and damage them. And since acetylcholine increases the production of nitric oxide in the blood vessels, it improves blood circulations. And it is also involved with digestion and REM sleep. For those who really want to maximize their mental faculties and cognitive functions, acetylcholine is one of the most important things in our body. However, the problem is 80 to 90% of people are not getting enough choline, which is low material for acetylcholine. Also, another big issue is many drugs block acetylcholine activity. And the chronic inflammation gradually reduces acetylcholine. And unfortunately, we are living in an age of chronic inflammation. So many of us do not perform at our best in terms of cognitive function. And recently, rising popularity of a vegetarian and a vegan diet make it more difficult to take enough choline for the people following this type of diet since the majority of dietary choline is from animal-based food. According to the Food and Nutrition Board of the National Institute of Medicine, adequate intake amount for choline is 550 mg per day for men and 425 mg per day for women. Since the meaningful amount of choline is usually found in animal product, Vegetarians and vegans need to pay even more attention to their choline intake. In the later part of this video, I will talk about the best way to supply choline to brain phospholipid and it is useful for everyone, but if you happen to be vegetarian or vegan, it is even more important. 
acetyl choline is unique because it functions as both of excitatory and inhibitory neurotransmitter depending on the location and the situation. Because of its wide spectrum of activities, it exists not only in the brain but also all over the body. On top of that, acetylcholine in the brain also functions as a neuromodulator, a substance that modulates the other neurotransmitter's actions. And the severe acetylcholine dysfunction is linked to numerous neurological and the psychological disorders such as dementia, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, Huntington's disease, schizophrenia. And when you don't have optimal level of acetylcholine, you can have various symptoms including decline of memory, brain fog, difficulty with calculating numbers, slow mental response, muscle weakness and fatigue, constipation, dry eyes, chronic inflammation, occasional flushing or redness on the face or neck. If you have more than few symptoms from this list, you might have too low level of acetylcholine. If you want to increase the level of acetylcholine, you can do that by increasing intake of choline from food or taking blood-brain barrier crossing choline supplement, which is the most certain way to supply choline to your brain phospholipid. That's like hand delivering enough building blocks of acetylcholine to your brain. If you want to increase choline intake by food, what you need to eat is egg yolk, fish, meat, wheat germ, and broccoli. But nothing beats beef liver when it comes to choline. Three ounces of cooked beef liver contains 356 milligrams of choline. Considering men need 550 milligrams and the women need 425 milligrams of choline per day, beef liver is an amazing source of choline. And also, instead of adjusting the diet, you can simply take blood-brain barrier crossing choline supplement. First of all, most choline supplement is almost useless because they do not cross blood-brain barrier. But there are two choline supplement that effectively cross blood-brain barrier. They are alpha GPC and CDP choline. But from clinical studies, alpha GPC seems to perform better, so that's what I recommend. Alpha GPC is a natural choline compound found in the brain, so alpha GPC rapidly delivers choline to the brain across the blood-brain barrier and is a biosynthetic precursor of acetylcholine. Over-the-counter alpha GPC is made from either egg or soy. Alpha GPC also increases levels of the neurotransmitters 
dopamine, serotonin, and GABA. In Europe, it is prescribed for increasing acetylcholine levels in Alzheimer's patient. Luckily, in the United States, it's available as an over-the-counter memory supplement. It can also help the brain recovery after a stroke or transient ischemic attack. So, alpha GPC can be considered the most bioavailable source of a choline. I will post the link to alpha GPC supplement that I personally use in the description box. And if you want faster and more pronounced effect, you can use additional supplement on top of choline rich diet or alpha GPC supplementation. For this purpose, the best option is either Bacopa, Monieri, or Herpazine A. It seems personally I respond better to Bacopa, Monieri, but both of them are excellent and they are backed by clinical researches regarding their beneficial effect. Bacopa Monieri is a traditional Indian medicinal herb and the Herpogen A is an extracted substance from the plant Herpogea cirrhata. When combined with either choline rich diet or quality choline supplement such as alpha GPC, they create great synergy effect. I will post the link to this supplement in the description box. Thanks for listening and all the best.